Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans closed higher on Tuesday, supported by commercial demand and a bunch of other nominally positive news that came out on the day. U.S. ending stocks were down from March and several new export sales were announced on Tuesday morning. And on top of that, there are some signs that trade tensions with China could be easing. Still at this point, it seems like the trade would like to have a definite date on some talks with China about tariffs. And even if the USDA did lower their production estimate for Argentina, they expect a record crop out of Brazil this year on beans. Corn is down modestly on profit taking and a higher U.S. ending stocks estimate. USDA says the corn planting is right on the average pace, even if it is a little bit slower than last year. And wheat ended the day mixed. There are the continued weather concerns in the United States, but the overall fundamental outlook continues to be bearish, and that's going to limit any upside whatsoever. Live and feeder cattle were mixed ahead of widespread direct trade this week. Direct cattle markets remained pretty quiet outside of some scattered bids and just a handful of asking prices. Box beef is mixed at midday, continuing that recent pattern. And hogs were mixed on a combination of spread activity, the steady to lower cash during the session, and the higher midday pork. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.